Welcome back guys, in this video we are going to learn how to prove that the nth sum of an arithmetic sequence is equal to n divided by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1d. So you may already know what an arithmetic sequence is, but in case you might have forgotten, an arithmetic sequence is something that looks like this. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Something that looks like this. Or like this, 3, 6, 9, 12. So you can see that 4 minus 2 is 2, 6 minus 4 is 2, 8 minus 6 is 2, 10 minus 8 is 2. And here 12 minus 9 is 3, 9 minus 6 is 3, 6 minus 3 is 3. So an arithmetic sequence is something like, it's a sequence that has a common difference between each term between each term of the sequence there is a common difference so here the common difference in this first sequence is 2 let's call it d d is the common difference and we have our first term to be 2 and let's call it a here our common difference d is 3 and our first term a is 3 2 so an arithmetic sequence the first term of an arithmetic sequence t1 is a like here a is 3 and in the other sequence a is 2 the second term of an arithmetic sequence is the first term plus the common difference like here the first term is 2 is the first term plus the common difference like the second term 4 was equal to 2 plus 2 a plus d the second term of an arithmetic sequence is a plus d here the second term 6 is 3 plus 3 so to find the third term of the arithmetic sequence the third term of the arithmetic sequence is the second term plus the common difference that is t3 is equal to t2 plus the common difference which is d here to get 6 which is the third term we added the second term 4 plus the common difference 2 which is 6 likewise here we added the second term which is 6 with the common difference 3 which gave us 9 so to find the third term we add the second term with the common difference the second term here is a plus d so this a plus d plus d we have that the third term is a plus 2d so that's how we keep going and what how we get our nth term our nth term what is the value of our nth term you can see here each of them started with a plus something a plus something a plus something so our nth term will be a plus something d so here it's just like here this a plus zero is still a so you can write a plus zero d here we can put one here and you can see that here we had 1, the number in front of D was 0. Here we had 2, the number in front of D was 1. Here we had 3, the number in front of 3 was 2. So the number, so here we have N. The number that will be in front of D for N will be N minus 1. So have that TN is equal to A plus N minus 1D. Like you can see here, we had 1 here. The number in front of D was 1 minus 1. The num here we had 2. The number in front of D was 2 minus 1. Here we had 3. The number in front of 3 was 3 minus 1, which gave us 2. So the number in front of N. So the number in front of D in the nth term, the number in front of D will be N minus 1. So now let's talk of the nth sum of the series of a sequence, the nth sum of an arithmetic sequence. So now let's take a look at the first sum. The first sum of an arithmetic sequence is the sum of the first term plus nothing because nothing is in front of the first term. So it will just have the first term. S1 is the sum of the first term. S2 will be equal to the sum of the second term. S2 will be the sum of the first and the second term. So, S2 is equal to A plus, the second term is A plus D. 
So the third term will be the sum of the first, second, and third term. So we have our first term to be a, our second term to be a plus d, and our third term is a plus 2d. So what about the nth sum? The nth sum of the arithmetic sequence, what will the value be? Here, yeah, the nth sum will be a plus a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d plus down to tn. We'll, we'll sum t1 to tn. So this will be a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d, which we had here, plus plus some stuffs like we have in case we may have some values this will be plus those values plus those values plus the last value so let me say the the number in front of tn will be tn minus one just like the, the number in front of three was two and the number in front of two is one the number in front of n m tn will be tn minus one so tn minus one is equal to a plus remember it's the value here minus one so it's a plus n minus one minus one because it's not by here minus one d so our t n minus one will be a plus n minus two d so what of our t n minus two the number in front of t n minus one will be t n minus two our t n minus two will be a plus n minus two minus one d which is a plus n minus 3d. So if we sum all this number to 3, and sum in case there may be any number in between, we we'll sum all of them plus this term, the, sec the third to last term, which is tn minus 2, is n minus 3d. And this second to last term will be a plus a plus n minus 2d then our final term a plus n minus 1d a plus n minus 1d let me write it out well we have that sn is equal to so now let's just now what we are going to do is that we are going to repeat this sn here but this time we'll start from the back from here, this is just the same thing. This is a sum, so we can sum from behind. From behind, we have a plus n minus 1d plus a plus, this one is n minus 2d plus a plus n minus 3d plus dot 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 here. This dot 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 to contain the same dot 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 that is here. So plus a plus 2d plus a plus d then plus a. So what if let's sum these two? Let's sum s these two sn. So if we sum Sn plus Sn, they are the same thing. But if we sum them, it will give us 2Sn. Because something like X plus X is equal to 2X. So Sn plus Sn is 2Sn. So this is equal to... So now let's just add the, their terms. So we'll add their terms. So if you add A, A plus, A plus... So this is 2Sn will be equal to sum of this plus the sum of this you know because we added these two so the, this will be equal to this plus this so let's just add the first term here the first one here is a plus the first one here is a plus n minus one a plus n minus one d when we sum these two we have two a plus n minus one d when we sum these two so this is equal to two a plus n minus 1d plus let's sum these two here if we sum this to this a plus d this a plus d plus a plus n minus 2d 
So a plus a is 2a plus n minus 2d plus d. So this is equal to 2a plus. We can factorize here. We have 2 plus 2 n minus 2 plus 1d. We will factorize here. So this is equal to 2a plus n minus 1d. So you can see when we added these two, we got that is equal to 2a plus n minus 1d. So let's add these two here, this and this. When we add this, this is, so this will be a plus 2d plus a plus n minus 3d. a plus a is 2a plus n minus 3d plus 2d n minus 3 so this 2a plus n minus 3 plus 2d we factorize d here oh god this so this is equal to 2a plus n minus 1d the same as we got for this first two this 2a plus n minus 1d so here it be plus dot 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 plus dot 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 but these dot dot dots will contain the same elements we have here that this 2a plus this one plus this one this this will also contain 2a plus n minus 1d so if we sum this here this with this 2a plus remember here we summed we are trying to sum this with this the 2 um, a plus n minus 3d and a plus 2d when we sum it here we got to a plus n minus 1d we sum something like this here so Yes, 2a plus n minus 1d. So let's sum this and this. If we sum this and this, this is the same thing we did here. a plus d plus a plus n minus 2d. We got this. So this is equal to this plus 2a plus n minus 1d. And if we sum this and this, this is the same thing we summed in the first place. So this will still give us 2a plus n minus 1d. So you can see here we got that 2sn is equal to 2a plus n minus 1d plus 2a plus n minus 1d plus 2a plus n minus keep on going to the to here to the last term. And this and these are n times. This like this 2a plus n minus 1d plus this up to n times. And you may know that like you may know that if you want to sum x, x plus x plus x plus x four times, this is the same thing as four times x because it was four times. Four times. So if you want to sum x plus x plus x dot 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 plus x, let me say n times. This will now be nx since like four times this x will have we are summed four times so it will be four x and this n x we are summed n times so it will be n times x that's what we are going to do here this thing contains n number of elements since like here we are summing from t1 to t n that's one one two three down to n times so this contains n sums this contains n sums so this will also contain n sum. So this this same number repeating like summing themselves n times. So this two s n will be equal to like this x here, which was equal to n x. This will be equal to n times two a plus n minus one d. All this sum gave rise to this. So we have two s n is equal to is equal to n times 2a plus n minus 1d so let's divide both sides by 2 if we divide here by 2 and divide here by 2 this is equal to sn is equal to n times 2a plus n minus 1d all over 2 so we can just since this is a multiplication this is the same thing as sn is equal to n all over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1d this should be plus 
So Sn is equal to n all over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1d. We are successfully proving that the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1d. So guys, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you understood this video. Subscribe to my channel. Watch one of these videos in the screen. And most of all, share to your friends or classmates that might find this helpful. Mm -hmm. Thanks and have a nice day.